On the 14th of November 1680, German astronomer Gottfried Kirsch used a telescope to discover a comet for the very first time. Welcome to History Pod. Gottfried Kirsch was a notable figure in the field of astronomy during the 17th century. Alongside his wife, he'd already made substantial contributions to the study of comets and other celestial phenomena by the time he became the first person to sight a new comet using a telescope. Kirsch meticulously recorded the comet's position and movements, allowing him to calculate its orbit. These observations were instrumental in determining the comet's trajectory and predicting its path. At a time when the appearance of comets was sometimes met with trepidation and superstitious fears, Kirsch's discovery demonstrated that comets could be scientifically observed and studied, and this led to a more systematic approach to their analysis. Officially known as C1680V1, it soon became known as the Great Comet of 1680, and was visible for many weeks, growing to become the brightest object in the night sky and one of the brightest comets of the 17th century. Contemporary accounts describe it as a blazing star, and it became the focal point for a Jesuit priest who chartered the comet's course from Cadiz and later published his findings in Mexico City, becoming one of the earliest scientific works published by a European in the New World. In England, John Flamsteed, the first astronomer royal, recorded the comet's course at the Royal Observatory, while Christopher Wren, Robert Hooke and Isaac Newton also charted and recorded its journey. Newton later used this data to help him test and verify Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Consequently, the Great Comet of 1680 was of enormous scientific significance, as it heralded a new period of astronomical observation. <laughs> 